guys welcome back to my channel it is a month-long grocery shopping day journey actually drove me here today she's my helper so I'm doing a Walmart pickup order Sam's Club pickup order I also have to go into Sam's to get a prescription and get the things that they say that they don't have that I know that they have inside um, but first we are going to Marshall's for like shower curtain liner and then we're going to um where else are we going Aldi oh, well Aldi after that but I have like a bunch of little stops to make before we get the groceries in the car because it is quite warm today um oh Menards that's the other place that we have to go to so we're going to try to make this quick so we can get in all our little stops and then get to the groceries we made it home Got a, had all the kids help me bring all the groceries inside and then I just took a break and went and ran them to my parents' house because there was a paying job over there that they wanted to go do, which at our house there aren't very many paying jobs. <laughs> They're just expected to work. So all the kids are at my parents' house working and let me start with Sam's Club. I'll have a total for you at the end because I don't know how much because I had to go into Sam's Club as well and grab a few things, but I just lumped it all together. So let me show you what I got at Sam's Club. All right, so I got another bag of jasmine rice. Just in looking at my food storage, I didn't think we had quite enough. Um, so I went ahead and got, and it was still a pretty good price. Went ahead and got that. I've been picking up a bag of this bread flour every month and then freezing it, packaging it, food savoring it. Um, so I have quite a stock of flour, which basically the only thing I use flour for is to make my sourdough bread and the very few baked goods that I make. So we got two things of these Cantina Thins. We like them. And I think Tostitos changed their recipe or something because we don't like those as well anymore. One bag of Doritos for the beach. Um, one thing of tequila. Tequila actually is like the only hard liquor that I like, like a margarita. Um, so, but this will last me probably like two years. So, watermelon. We have, we've only had like two watermelon all summer long, so I thought we'd better get with it. This is the chicken that I've been getting that I really like. It already comes, it's like two breaths per little pack. It is more expensive. I do think the quality is better. Um, so I've been using this for recipes that, um, you know, like when you want to keep the chicken breast whole and you don't want to um, like shred it up or whatever. I got one package of chicken thighs. We're gonna do barbecue chicken with that. Two packages, oh, I know, yeah, this one. two packages of the Italian sausage. And I'll put both of those in the freezer. I like to have an extra. These are my favorite little snacking cheeses. Jason really likes them too. Two things of sharp cheddar. That's what I use for our shredded cheese. And then about every six months I get one of these um, because really grilled cheese are just not grilled cheese without that. That's about the only thing that we use that for. Got some dry roasted peanuts, some feminine products. This was on sale. Two things of Honey Nut Cheerios, Jericho's box of white Cheez-Its that he really enjoys. One thing of Goldfish. One thing of cream cheese. I have quite the stockpile of cream cheese now, but you can freeze it. I use I use it in quite a few recipes, so I just like to have that on hand. This is the fresh salsa that we like. Two things of half and half. One thing of heavy whipping cream, and I started getting this one because it doesn't have anything nasty in it. I'm okay with all of those. Um, additives. Sour cream, same thing. I started getting it like this because Aldi's has carrageenan, carrageenan in it, which I don't like. These are my favorite low-carb low wraps. So I got two family packs of those um, for some recipes coming up. We needed 
toothpaste and this one was on sale. We're really not picky. We don't really care about the toothpaste. Got coleslaw mix. This is for pork tacos. Strawberries, grapes, and I can smell the strawberries, so I'm gonna eat a bunch of these today. Have the kids eat a bunch of them too, so they don't go bad. We needed some C-sized batteries, and then probably, I don't remember, it's been at least six months, maybe even longer, since I have bought one of these, but it really is a good price when you buy it like that. One big pack of gum. And then I think it's been at least two years since I have bought tape, but we have a tape dispenser that takes this kind, and so it was on sale for back to school, so I went ahead and got that. We already got into the bread for a sandwich for lunch. This is the bread that Jason likes. I got two bone-in boss pork Boston butt something cut, maybe that's supposed to say. Um, so $2.28 a pound. And I was going to get this at Gordon Food Service, but it was the same price. So while I was there, I went ahead and got it. I will put both of these in the freezer. We'll have one this month, which this will make a bunch. This will be at least two meals for us. And then um, the other one I can just have in the freezer. And then I did go ahead and get a pack of this chicken breast, which is almost a dollar a pound cheaper than the other kind I've been getting. And I'm actually going to, um, I think I'm just going to grill this entire pack at once and freeze it so that I have some grilled chicken on hand. The kids really liked these um, quesos. It's, it's a good little snack for them, or sometimes if they can't find anything for lunch, they'll get that. I always get a thing of avocado oil. Um, every time I use up one of these in food storage, then I go ahead and get another one. And then, as I've said, as long as they keep having this pack of Zevia, I'm going to keep getting it because our entire family enjoys it. So that is all of Sam's Club. Okay, next up is Walmart and Menards. And again, I don't remember how much, I think it was about $100 at Walmart. And they actually had everything, which was shocking. This was a substitution. I keep trying to get sliced Havarti. And I didn't feel like, I just said yes to the substitution. I didn't feel like messing with it. We like provolone too, that's fine. Then, um, hot dogs. We like the bun length ones, and Sam's Club doesn't sell the bun length ones, otherwise I would get them there. Frozen broccoli, I just really like these convenient microwavable bags. They make a really easy side. Same thing with the cauliflower. I make this um, loaded cauliflower bake that's like keto, which my whole family really likes. So we do that instead of potatoes sometimes. I've not been able to get like the variety of um, frozen potatoes at my Aldi in a long time, so I've just started adding it to my um, Walmart order because Aldi's my last stop, so I can't really leave it to chance, or then I gotta make another stop. Tater tots, shredded hash browns, the milk seemed like a good deal, but I actually think it ended up being the same or cheaper at Aldi, I'm not sure, because I got a gallon at Aldi as well. They finally had Fresca, which I like Fresca. I really don't like to do artificial sweeteners at all. This is like the one exception I will make. And there's a drink I really want to try where you take Fresca, fresh lime juice, tequila, mix all that up, and then you rim your glass with like grapefruit salt, um, like you would for a margarita. So sounds very good to me. I'm going to try it. And then... Um, this, I went through a lot of sure gel when I did my, uh, woo, the words today, strawberry jam. Um, so I just like to stay ahead of that. I don't like to wait until I'm ready to can to go and get it. And then every time we use something out of our cold remedies, I like to replace it so that we're always stocked up. Same thing for Julia's eczema lotion and deodorant. I really, really like these. I wish they were not so expensive. It's like $3 a bag. So I give myself like one bag a week for a yummy little treat. This I'm hoping will work on my freezer door downstairs. So 
We have had the freezer door left cracked open and stuff starting to thaw, which is not good. So I think what happens is when we get into the refrigerator, if you slam the door shut, sometimes it pops open the freezer and leaves it open, like cracked. So I'm gonna put this on the freezer door and see if that takes care of the problem. Bamboo shoots because Aldi doesn't have this kind of stuff. Two things of water chestnuts because I had used one out of food storage and so I just wanna make sure that I replenished that. Pinto beans, I just like, Aldi only has a giant can of pinto beans, at my Aldi at least, and I like this size better. Two cans of hominy, and I have plenty of this in food storage, but when I want to make something, I don't want to deplete my food storage, so I will rotate those through. That's for taco soup. I like to keep marshmallow fluff, marshmallows, peanut butter, butter, and rice krispies, and that all it, that's all it takes to make a really delicious peanut butter Rice Krispie Treat, so if I need a quick dessert to take somewhere, I always have the ingredients on hand. Um, petite diced tomatoes, again, I just like the petite diced and Aldi doesn't have that. And then we really like this hot dog chili, um, and I'm gonna do that low carb hot dog chili bake again with the low carb tortillas, which everybody really liked. So this is my Menards little stop-in. I was really going in basically just for this. This is what I use on my countertops. Um, it lasts forever and I really like it, so I found that. And then Walmart did not have nine volt batteries for some reason, so I got those there. Also needed that size. I needed some command hooks for some posters I'm hanging up downstairs for the school area. Journey was with me and she picked this out to add to her water when she's at lunch at school. This was way cheaper than what I paid, I believe, last time I got it. And it worked out well for the no sugar strawberry jam that I make, so I just replenished that and that'll be ready for next year. And then I use this freezer tape all the time to label leftovers and stuff in the freezer. And then this, we needed a camping mat. Um, for like outside of our tent. And this one like rolls up really nicely or it just lays flat. So I thought that that would be a good one to have for that. And then it was, if you're familiar with Menards, it was 11% rebate time. So if you just fill this out with your receipt, they will mail you a check for 11% back, which I think this was like $60 or something, and so I will take my $6 back. Okay, Aldi is the last thing. I forgot to mention for Sam's Club, or maybe I did mention it. There are two bags of water softener salt out in my van that my husband will carry in for me. Um, so I think I forgot to mention that, but that will be part of the total. So let me show you Aldi and the one thing that I got at Gordon Food Service. Okay, starting down here, I got two things of this pure cane sugar. I've switched over to this and I do really like it a lot better. Um, I've also been making my own brown sugar, but I have noticed with the things that I use it for, like my cookies, it makes them like a little bit crunchy or something and we really like soft cookies. So I did get one brown sugar just so that the consistency is right for my homemade cookies, one cream of mushroom, one sweetened condensed milk. If I have this on hand, I have everything I need to make Revel bars, which are Jason's favorite dessert. And so just wanted to have one of those on hand in case I wanted to make those. All these still had green chilies, which mine never has before. So I went ahead and got a couple of cans of that. Got some mayonnaise. I've tried the healthy mayonnaise and I just don't like it. I think it's disgusting, so. You know, I'm working on all the other good oils, but I guess I'm stuck with this mayonnaise till I find a healthy one that I like. One thing of peanut butter, just because we had finished one up, and that's how I keep myself stocked up. Once I finish it, then I rotate it through. This is just like Olive Garden dressing, very good. We use it for pasta salad and also salad. Same thing, I needed a thing of ketchup and I have switched to this. We're still working through the stockpile of the other kind. Um, the kids like this kind better though, so that's good. Just got some plain old medium roast coffee. I'm only drinking one cup of coffee in the morning instead of two. So 
so that has kind of helped with the budget because I like expensive coffee, sugar-free coffee syrup. Um, so that has helped out. Two things of this marinara sauce, it's like a dollar something, and the ingredients are super clean. So I like that, and then you can add a little bit of, like I could add a little bit of monk fruit to it if I wanted a little sweeter or whatever. This, I really do like this keto bread. Like if I'm doing Trim Healthy Mama and I want to have an S meal in the morning, like avocado toast or something, I've only had it toasted, so I can't speak to it as far as like sandwich bread or whatever. Also, if I want to have an E meal for Trim Healthy Mama, I like this sprouted grain bread. I just keep these in the freezer and eat them slice by slice. I have a love-hate relationship with Starbucks. I really detest them as a company, um, but I have not found a cold coffee yet that is not super acidic, and so I'm on the hunt because this one's not acidic at all. I just do not, after having the C word and my taste not coming back and stuff the same, I cannot handle acidic coffee whatsoever. Um, Journey was with me and she requested these mini bagels to have for breakfast. Hot dog buns. I really like these hamburger buns. They're bigger because we have the big hamburger patties from Sands Club. They actually did have the Havarti, so we'll just have a lot of sliced cheese. That's fine. I had used up one thing of butter. I have a big stack of butter down in the downstairs fridge. But again, when I use something up, I like to replenish it. Two things of Monterey Jack cheese. Two things of mozzarella. I really like these, Journey really likes these, and actually, I'll have to check, because last time I got like the three pack at Sam's, and I was thinking Aldi was cheaper, but I don't think it actually is, so I will have to check that. Um, so I just got two. I got one ham steak, I've got some recipes, especially that breakfast casserole I make that takes cubed ham, so I will cube this all up, and this will be, I could probably do three recipes with the size of this ham steak. I'm excited to try this. I've never tried this before. My sister told me about it. She said you get the green bag of chicken at Aldi, do it in the air fryer, and then you make like really quick chicken parmesan. So that sounds delicious. And um, I think this bag was like $9 or something, but this would be more than two meals. This would be, or more than one meal for us probably. Chicken nuggets, journey, we crafted those. This is the one thing that I got at Gordon's and I don't think it's the right thing. Uh, my sister was also telling me about like the really good battered fries. I didn't see any battered fries, but these say coated regular fries, so I don't know. But we needed some fries for the kids' lunch for the air fryer. I used up two things of water when we were camping, so just replenishing that. Vinegar, I've been doing a lot of pickles, so I needed one of those. Napkins, some feminine products, sandwich bags, storage bags, oatmeal. When the kids are desperate, I will make them um, no-bake cookies with half sugar and half like sugar substitute for breakfast, and they all really like that, so I don't mind doing that. French onion dip to go with the chips, cottage cheese, here are the two bags of marshmallows. I will just keep those on hand to go with that marshmallow fluff for that peanut butter rice crispy recipe I was telling you about. These are just like golden grams. Jalea requested, I make these raisin bran muffin, these bran muffins with raisin bran, and they're very delicious. She requested those for breakfast, so I will make those. Jericho's crap cereal, Journey's crap cereal, one treat they each get for, and then they're gone. They did not have just the chocolate chip, um, just the chocolate chip ones, and I can make my own too. I just really have not had time to do that, but I can make the homemade ones. Uh, I really like these little snacking peppers. Two things of Cosmic Crisp Apples. It is not, it, we're getting close. It is not apple season yet in Michigan, but we're getting very close. Some onions, cilantro, one head of iceberg lettuce, two avocados, and I tried to like play the avocado game, like this one's softer, and this one's like rock hard, so hopefully I can get like a week, you know, out of those. 
Um, my garden is actually producing a lot of veggies. That's why you're not seeing veg a lot of veggies here because we're eating out of the garden. But my lettuce is done. So um, we still have tons of kale but not lettuce. Some salami because Sam's Club did not have the thin salami that I like, but this is fine too. They finally had our favorite lunch meat, finally. So I got two things of that because this is good until October. So I'll just put one downstairs in the fridge. Some crab meat so that Julia and I can make sushi. Some cheddar cheese. Um, my potato, I've not harvested my potatoes yet either, but that's real soon here. So just one bag of potatoes, crunchy taco shells. We have big marshmallows, so I just thought we'd do a fire and do some s'mores just because summer's winding down, sadly. Already got into those, white cheddar popcorn, two things of pretzels. They were very out of all other kinds of, um, potato chips. So the kids like those if I get the dip to go with it. So just one bag of those and then two bag or two cans of the Aldi's Pringles and then two things of brownie mix, which this is the best brownie mix. And then if you do it with avocado oil, it makes a very good brownie. Um, this is like LaCroix and the girls have been drinking it too. So I've been having to get more. Another thing of milk because I meant to get two at Walmart and I didn't. Almond milk, I usually get my super expensive yogurt to have my keto granola with, but it's just over $6 for that carton. And so I was like, uh, I'll just eat it like cereal with some almond milk. One thing of the really good eggs, because I like to make hard boiled eggs with this, like the texture of the yolk is just so good when you do hard boiled eggs with these. And then just three of the regular for all of our other stuff and that is Aldi. And then real quick because it's sitting here this is what I got from Azure this month and this actually goes on last month's um, budget because I had some money left over. So this is 10 pounds of this Tinkyata brown rice pasta that I like and so I got 20 pounds total and I will bag that up into one pound portions. And then a giant thing of Celtic sea salt. This is so delicious. And then a giant thing of Wahio ground chili powder. Very delicious. I've become very picky about my chili powder. I do not like all these chili powder whatsoever. Okay, that'll do it for the month of August. Now I only go back to the store maybe once a week. The first week I don't even generally go back. Um, so I won't go back to the store for about two weeks because we, we will have enough milk, we have enough eggs, we have enough fresh produce, especially with the garden now. So I won't be back for two weeks and then it will only be for like egg or um, milk and maybe a little bit of produce. Maybe a specialty ingredient that I forgot for a recipe that I didn't know I wanted to make. But other than that, we're done for the month of August. It feels good. I'm always super tired, but it feels good to get this done and off my plate for the whole month. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.